Happy Friday to me. Lifeless body or what was left of it drunk in the Everglades? Today, yeah. My legs apparently didn't get the message because I didn't get the message. My suitcase is just rattling around back there. You should have put it flat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I was going to move. I cleared my throat. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Yeah, then my suitcase is so jam packed heavy because I brought all my laundry home. That literally only laundry is in my suitcase. And some shoes that I want to bring home. So, we had to take a taxi because there's no way we're carrying that the whole way to work. Right? Yeah. It was so heavy. Today has been a day. We have to update you on our travels. Coming to you live from a Port Authority pizzeria. He's uninterested. So, Christian left his suitcase in my apartment because he was getting his hair braided today. But then, he didn't bring his keys, so he's locked out of my apartment. So I left work to go to Port Authority at 6.40 for our 7.30 bus. The timestamps are important. Right? And I had to take an Uber back to my apartment. I got to my apartment at 7.15, and then we had to immediately call another one. Like, we really tried our hardest to make this bus. Again, 7.30 bus. You know, I admire all the effort. We tried we as really hard did. as we could. Like, I was booking it in the Uber, and then he called an Uber before I even got there, ran inside. We told the Uber driver what's up. He rushed as fast as fast he could to Port Authority. We came running in, but alas, we missed it. Uh, I, I will take responsibility for, you know, missing the bus. It's January 20th at 8.15 p.m., and for the first time in forever, someone's taking accountability for their actions. <laughs> Don't, don't lie with it. I always take the I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, yeah. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. I don't know why this happened, but it did. And we booked a bus for 1040 It was like $200, <laughs> which is so ridiculous. And it has to be Greyhound, so we can't transfer any money from trailways. Like, I don't know. But here we are in a pizzeria. I got a barbecue chicken melt that looks good and some vegetable soup and we just have to wait here for the next two and a half hours and we're getting to Syracuse at 3 a.m. Hey, yeah, yeah. We had a very stressful morning but we're on the way to the wedding. Already! We styled my mother, and I got ready in 10 minutes. Give them the <laughs> You're being shy. Tell the people. Tell them. We're at Cake Bar. He's trying to be shy. He likes this place. We're at the Cake Bar and we're going to get some coffee and bubble cheese. We needed a little pick me up. What are you going to get? I'm going to get a tiramisu latte. Grandma, do you want to be in my video? Of course. This is my nice. grandma. Say hello. Hello. Nice to see you, whoever's watching this. <laughs> I have a tiramisu latte. Just say it. Be a good sport. You know what it is. A taro drink. And we got a coffee flight. Um, creme brulee, taro, Vietnamese, and I don't remember what she said this one was. Cafe latte. Cafe latte. And some croissants. We actually chugged that. My favorite was this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Just so everybody knows. <laughs> the Vietnamese coffee, the taro, creme brulee, and cafe latte. I rank them one, two, three, four. Yum.
Mommy. We're going to cocktail hour. Here's my little OOTN. Naturally, we're followed by Paris of the Room, Cheryl and Patrick. I need you to stand up and show the love, show the passion for this amazing couple that work coming through these doors. Make some noise! Husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Nate and Kelly. post-wedding and we're ice skating again he's fixing his skates and Rachel and Allison are somewhere <laughs> he's doing so much better do you guys want to be in my vlog <laughs> yeah he's basically a professional <laughs> the pop ball He's basically a professional now. He's so much better. We're back. Okay, you guys, meet my cousin Rachel. Hi. And she Wait, got. Let me tell you what I got. Okay, so I got this pin, and then I got this knitted strawberry pot. That's so cute. And for my food, I got a croissant warmed up, and this is a creme brulee milk tea with boba. That looks really good. I wish I got that kind of. Okay vlog, this is my other cousin, Allison. Hey, I got a peach tea with mango popping bubbles and I had a ham and cheese paste made, which was delicious, obviously. Yes, and then we got um, a carrot cake to split, taro, iced coffee, and tiramisu. Yours looks good, I'm jealous.